Welcome back to my series on how to use shortcuts with Apple Notes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a shortcut that will create notes with specific names. Tap on the plus sign to open a brand new empty shortcut. Tap on add action. This shortcut is going to be called create new note. When you're done, tap on done. I'm going to copy this block of text and I'm going to paste it inside a text box. You can see that text is available in the next action suggestions area. So I'll tap on it. I'll place this text into the text box. Next, you can see that choose from menu is available. So I'll tap on that shortcut action to add it to my shortcut. You can select text from the variable selection area just above the keyboard and it will automatically put that text into the menu as a prompt. Here you can tell the user what the shortcut does and how to use it. The next option will be create a note with a custom title. The next option will be create a note with today's date. And the last option will be create a note with any date. The menu options should change as you type, but if they don't, just tap on done and enter the shortcut one more time by tapping on the three dots. If you scroll down, you'll notice that the menu options have changed to what I typed. I'm going to tap on done. Type set variable into the search field. This will allow you to create a variable that will hold the contents for the new note. And we'll set it to the menu result. Tap on done. And then search for an action called create note. Tap on create note. Tap where it says body and select new note. You can leave the folder option blank. Tap on done. Tap on the blue arrow. And make sure that open when run is turned on. That way you'll see the new note when it's created. Let's search once more for text. Long press on it and drag it up underneath the menu option that says create an empty note. Inside the text box, just type two spaces. Tap the play icon to run your shortcut. The first choice is to create an empty note. And there is your empty note. To create a custom title, you need to ask the user what they want to type. The ask for input action shown here will do this. So I'm going to take this action and move it up underneath the second menu option. you can add a default answer. I'm just going to type the phrase, hello world. Now I'll search for text. I'll move it up underneath the last action. And instead of typing text in here, I'm going to tap on select variable and I'm going to select provided input. Tap on done and run the shortcut once more to see if the second menu option works properly. Tap on your second menu option. You've got the default answer here. You would enter the title that you want the third menu option is create a note with today's date. The 
So I will search for a text. I'll drag it up to the third menu option, create a note with today's date, and instead of typing text in here, I'm going to use a variable that's available called current date. Make sure that date is checked and then tap on the X. We've got an empty note with today's date. The next option is to create a note with any date. In the search field, type ask and select ask for input one more time. Long press on the action and drag it up underneath the correct menu option. Tap text. We're going to choose date and time. Then I'm going to get another text box and I'll choose the variable provided input one more time. Each action is only executed or run if that menu option is chosen. That's how shortcuts knows which values to put into each of the variables. Tap on the X. Run the shortcut one more time to test the fourth option. This allows you to select a date and time. Notice that today's date is highlighted, but if I wanted to create a note with tomorrow's date, or even Wednesday's date, I could. You can change the time here but I'm going to leave it as it is. Tap done, and you'll see a note with December 14th, 2022 at 9.49 a.m. Now that the shortcut is working properly, let's clean it up a little bit. Long press, tap on rename, and I'm going to call this one create a new note. Tap on the three dots to open the shortcut editor. Just to choose rename here. If you long press on your spacebar, you can turn your keyboard into a trackpad, which will allow you to move the cursor. When you're done, tap on done. Tap the downward facing arrow once more and choose, choose icon. Here you can set the color, which I will set to yellow because this is a notes shortcut. And in the symbols search box, I'm going to type note. I'm going to use the note symbol with the plus sign next to it. I'll tap on done. Tap on done once more. If you long press on shortcut and select move and then choose the folder you want to move the shortcut into, you'll see that it's been successfully moved.